Right now, more than 5 million Americans are dealing with Alzheimer's disease. But there is a very real urgency to find a cure, and here's why. By 2050, the number of Americans with Alzheimer's will triple. Medical costs alone could bankrupt Medicare. Tonight, only on News 3, Dave Delosier has one family story, a family touched twice by Alzheimer's. Yeah, these will go back to these days when they, wedding days. Pages of a photo album tell a story of life. Went in the Navy in 1945. Now, at 89, for Buzz and his granddaughter Natalie, the photos take them both back to the very best of days. The one thing I do remember is when, when Nori came walking down the aisle and my knees were knocking so bad I couldn't couldn't, I, and I couldn't figure out what the hell was happening, where that noise was coming from. A view of life back then in black and white. Yeah, we spent many, uh, many good years together. Until one day, black and white. We noticed that in driving, she would, would get lost. Faded the memories to gray. Nora was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease at just 48. You accepted this responsibility when you got married. And uh, so you, you deal with what cards you're dealt with. The thing about Alzheimer's is it is a disease that takes and it takes, stealing memory moments and eventually life. Uh, but she was here home uh, uh, until she passed on in, uh, in 1986. So. And unless you've been there, you can't begin to know the void a family feels. But it was a challenge, but we get, uh, you know, Life is life. Pages of that photo album also chart a path of life. And the day someone asked Buzz if he wanted to play tennis with some friends. I said, okay, I'll play. And uh, it turned out to be Kit. A tennis match and one for life. One thing led to another, and we decided we'd get married. What Buzz discovered is he married into a very big family, as in the University of Wisconsin Athletic Department. She created or helped create mm -hmm. the... Uh, some of the women's athletic programs. As an associate athletic director, Kit Saunders Nordine was a pioneer who leveled the playing field for women. She was so important in opening doors to women in UW athletics, it would be difficult to overstate her role. It would be just as difficult to overstate her love for Buzz. I was retired, so she's, she figured I was having too much fun retired, so she said, the heck with this noise, I'm going to retire too. So. Time they used to go and see and do. She filled albums with the camera. More memories until, unimaginably, they again started to fade. She started losing things or misplacing things. Hey, how you doing? Now I try to visit her every day. Without fail, every day at 11.15, he is there. Uh, no, that's good. At a memory care facility, sometimes the things that matter most are hard to find. I, I'm not sure she recognizes me, but, I, you know, I think she does every now and then. But. Medications help to improve the symptoms of Alzheimer's, but they don't offer a cure. You can't do anything about Nori and you can't do anything about Kit. But that doesn't mean Buzz is giving up. He's established the research fund in Nora and Kit's name. The money is being used to pay for Alzheimer's research being done at UW-Madison with one clear goal. And that's only a question of time when there will be a cure for Alzheimer's disease. The research is being led by Dr. Sanjay Astana. For him, finding a cure is very personal. He lost his father to the disease. Oh, I'm absolutely sure that one day we'll get there. Uh, and the amount of research that's going on right here at UW Madison actually is making some very important contributions. To the birds here. And Buzz, maybe more than most, understands how important finding that cure is. I'm holding on because I need to. And holding on too to something he'll never let go of. Yeah, it's a great life, I'll tell you. But you know, it's a challenge. Hmm? In Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. Mm -hmm. Buzz still tries to get to as many UW women's athletic events as he can before the Alzheimer's diagnosis. He and Kit never missed a game. If you would like to make a donation to the research fund that has been set up in Kit and Nora's name, we have information on how to do that on our website on channel3000.com.